All right, here is an exciting development with the targeting. This, in this package, is a Rock 64. It's made by Pine 64. It's what we're going to use to replace the Raspberry Pi. This is a 64 bit, uh, four processor ARM, super duper Raspberry Pi type thing. You know, single single board computer, but it's got um, four gigs of memory and a bunch a bunch of uh, peripheral things. So let's open this bad boy up now. I ordered this on the 14th from China. I ordered it off the website, the Pine 64 website, and got it on the 28th. So it took 14 days for it to arrive here from. From China, so let's get this thing. Let's get this thing open. Are you excited? I am excited. And the first thing that I pull out is a power supply. Now, one nice thing about this Rock 64 is that it doesn't use a USB type power supply. It actually uses a barrel connector. Okay, so this is a lot more durable. And this is the official 5 volt power supply. It's got the correct amperage and all that sort of thing for it. Okay. It's way better than that USB power supply thing. And a heat sink. They said you really don't need this, but I said why not? And it only costs 50 cents. So there you go. And here is our Rock 64. All right, that bag's empty. All right, four gigs of memory. Awesome. This thing ought to be great. The, you can use this as a little desktop even, but it certainly should um, replace our, our Raspberry Pi and do our image processing very well. Let me see. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. All right, let's see what we got. Let me get this focused right, right here. Okay, so there is our Rock Chip 3228. That's a quad processor. AMD 64-bit. We've got a place for our EMMC module. I didn't get one. I wanted to test it out before I did, but that's where that can go right there. I will be using micro SD. It goes right here. And that looks like all the exciting thing on the back anyway. Okay, so we've got I'm not sure what that is. This is a standard 20 pin or 40 pin, you know, 20 by 2. That's a Raspberry Pi, just like the Raspberry Pi, the two and three models. This is that extra header that the Raspberry Pi has, but it's just broken out here. So you've got these extra pins. A lot of these pins are accounted for. They they sort of match up with the Raspberry Pi, but a lot of them are being used by different things. But you end up with about 20. 20, 25, 20, 20, depends on what you do, but there's at least 20 free pens that you can use for GPIO with, with no real changes. Okay. All right. So there is our HDMI. This is the barrel connector that replaces the um, USB, micro USB audio. IR. And this is 10100. We have two USB 2s, one USB 3. Okay. The big thing though, hey, 4G. Okay, 4 gigs of memory. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm pretty excited about that. Now, let's let me show you what we're going to do with this. If you've been following the project, you know that we initially tested it 
with this Raspberry Pi right here. This is an old model Raspberry Pi. It's, it's the last of the, it's a 1B, I think. But this matches, right? Same form factor. So this should come off. This should go on. Shouldn't be a very big deal. I'm going to put, to start out with, I'm going to put Debian on here. And um, there's a, uh, there's a setup where the pin, you know, same as Raspberry Pi has been ported over, so we should be able to use that initially. Now, of course, if you follow um, the kernel, you know that the Linux kernel is coming up with a new GPIO system. It just came out. Um, the kernel 4.8 has it. Um, so I'll be using that eventually, but I'm just going to start out using the same same setup as with, with the Raspberry Pi. Okay, and then we'll put um, our two cameras here. We'll run it as a server, as a headless server from here. And this, I don't know what we'll do with this. But initially, I'm just going to set this thing up and get it running, learn how to do it. Um, right here, here's all my cook hookups for my uh, little experiment station over there. So I'm just going to get this thing running as is. And um, and there we go. Rock 64. This thing ought to be awesome. Hopefully. There's all the sides. It's got a, it's got a lot more switches. Like it's got several resets and a full recovery mode. It's got a lot more LEDs to kind of let you know more of what's going on. It's a little bit bent right there. Yeah, that IR, I, I hadn't even thought about how I might use that. I don't even know all the stuff that's on here. But anyway, there we go. Theoretically, this will fit in a, uh, in a Raspberry Pi case. The only mod you have to do is to go from USB to the barrel connector. All right, I will update you when I get this thing running. Look at that nice little box that came in. Put that on there. Plug it in right there. Okay. Hey, these things also are fairly inexpensive. So go to the website, check it out. You can get the one you can get a one gig, a two gig, or the four gig. And the one gig is cheaper than a Raspberry Pi. Should be better than a Raspberry Pi 3, and it's cheaper. 2 gig is $10 more, 4 gigs $10 more than that, I think. So, there you go.